Do you remember when a single summer felt endless? When your birthday seemed like a distant planet you couldn't wait to reach? And now, years slip by like weeks, weeks like days, days like minutes. One day, you'll look back and ask yourself, where did all that time go? And why? Is it moving faster than ever before? I remember talking to a woman in her 70s. She said to me, my 20s felt like a whole book, my 30s, maybe half a book. And now, the years feel like pages flying off in the wind. She laughed. But there was sadness in her eyes. Because she didn't feel done with life. She just felt like life was done waiting. It's not just older people. Ask anyone in their 40s. Or even 30s. They'll tell you the same thing. I blink and another year's gone. My kids were toddlers yesterday and now they're taller than me. Wasn't it just Christmas? like three weeks ago. And the strangest part is, time hasn't changed. A second is still a second. A year still has 365 days. So why does it feel so different? Scientists have been asking that question for decades. And what they've found, fascinating. Because the reason time speeds up isn't just about clocks. It's about memory, novelty, and the way your brain keeps track of your life. Think about your childhood. How many firsts were packed into those years? Your first bike, your first kiss, your first heartbreak, your first day of school. Everything was new. Everything mattered. And when things are new, your brain pays attention. It records details. It lays down dense memories. A single summer vacation might have felt like an entire lifetime because your brain was soaking up every tiny piece of it. But as we get older, we slip into routines. We go to the same places. We talk to the same people. We do the same things day after day. And our brain stops recording those days with the same intensity. Whole weeks blur together because nothing stands out. We look back and the months are just gone. That's why scientists call it the perceptual shrinking of time. Life isn't moving faster, but your brain is filing it away as less. And there's another reason, one that has to do with simple math. Imagine you're 10 years old. One year is 10% of your entire life. That's huge, but at 50, a single year is only 2% of your life. It feels smaller, less significant. Time literally feels shorter, because compared to your life so far, it is. It's not just a feeling. It's how your brain and your math work together to make time speed up. But here's the good news. You can slow it down again. So how do you slow time down again? It's simpler than you think. The secret is novelty. When your brain experiences something new, it creates dense, vivid memories. Those memories stretch time. They make a single day feel longer and richer. Think of how time feels on vacation. New places, new food, new people. Your brain is fully awake, recording every detail. That's why those weeks feel like they lasted forever because they left so many footprints in your memory. But back home, routine takes over. Days blur together because your brain stops noticing what's familiar. Scientists call it the holiday paradox. Time feels so while you're experiencing new things. But looking back, those periods feel longer in your memory. So if you want life to stop rushing by, you have to feed your brain novelty. That doesn't mean you have to travel the world. You can create novelty right where you are. Take a new route to work. Try a new hobby. Rearrange your living room. 
learn a new skill, cook a recipe you've never tried. Even small changes shake your brain awake. They create new memories, which stretch time. Another secret is mindfulness. When you're truly present, your brain records life in higher definition. You notice colors, smells, sounds, small details that would otherwise vanish. Meditation, deep breathing, even just pausing to notice the taste of your coffee, these moments expand time. And there's one more trick. Make memories with emotion. Moments tied to strong feelings of joy, surprise, or even sadness leave deeper imprints in your mind. So, seek out experiences that move you. Art, music, nature, heartfelt conversations, acts of kindness. Life feels longer when it's full of moments that matter. And here's the beautiful truth. You can't stop time from passing, but you can fill it so richly that it feels endless again. Because time isn't just minutes on a clock. It's the weight of memories you carry. The more moments you create that are worth remembering, the slower your life will feel. So maybe the question isn't why time is moving so fast. Maybe it's how you can make it slow down by truly living. Maybe one day you'll sit in a quiet room and wonder how the decades vanished. But if you fill your days with new sights, new thoughts, new connections, you'll look back and feel that your life was wide and deep. Time will still move, but it won't slip through your fingers as quickly. You'll remember more. You'll feel more alive. Because the secret isn't stopping the clock. The secret is creating moments that make the clock irrelevant. In the end, life isn't measured by how long it is. It's measured by how full it feels. So go and fill it. One new moment at a time.